let's talk about the plumbing really quick. I apologize, I've already got some of my framing done and somehow my all my videos I took of doing the plumbing got deleted. So each of your jets are gonna stick out uh, through the surround there, or I'm sorry, through the wall. And it's two and a half inch pipe that comes out of the wall. Um, you're gonna need to get these, um, I call them jet housings, I don't really know what else to call them, but it's one big piece here and it this has an inch and a half for the air and two inches for the water and then obviously the two and a half inch end there so what i did is i went around on each of my two and a half inch pipes which is there's what would i say 18 of them and you want to dry fit everything first so i just put these on first um, as you can see and you've seen it a hundred times this side has one two three four, five, six of those. So what you wanna do is you wanna dry fit everything. Go around and put all of your jet housings on all of your two and a half inch pipes. Cut your inch and a half and your two inch pipe to length. What you wanna do is these will go back in here an inch on each one. So take the measurement from the edge of your jet housing to the edge of your jet housing. Add two inches um, and then again, dry fit everything. So then you wanna work your way from the inside out. So once you get everything dry fit, you kind of take everything apart. Um, what I did on a lot of it is I'd, I'd mark kind of with the pencil line where it um, touched, you know, where this was an inch. That way you're not trying to get one in deeper and the other one shallower. And what you'll, what you'll do is put your jet housing on here um, and you glue your inch and a half and your two inch pipe in to that inch long mark. Then you're gonna wanna, as you're pushing those on there and um, you're gonna glue them both at the same time, you kind of dry fit this side at the same same time just to kind of hold it in place. Once it's dry, you're gonna kind of take everything apart and, and then get this side. You add your glue and primer, glue and primer. It might help to have another person with you because what you want to do is this now this entire piece starting with jet, that jet housing and these two pipes and this jet housing you're going to put those in and then push the entire thing on at once um, and that's what you're going to want to do first all the way around now if you have extra jets and you have you know three sets you know one two three or something like that you do it the exact same way um, just start with a set of two and then add the third one Anyway, as you go around, then you're gonna have, the only things that'll be glued up is the, your jet housings and the pipe that are in between them. Then you, again, you work your way all the way to the outside as you're going along with the glue up. And kind of the last thing that you're gonna wanna do is this, the, your, your, uh, your elbows here, um, because you can kind of bend those and glue those on at the last. And as long as you take your time and go around that way, um, you should be good and you should be able to uh, get it all glued up without any problems. So there you go. That's the glue glue up portion and the plumbing portion. I'm sorry I couldn't highlight that earlier. Okay, in this picture that without the framing, you can see how I've uh, dropped down the PVC down to the bottom to account for those two footwell jets. It's the only place on the tub where I had to uh, do that. And you can look at the PVC and see the different... Uh, Y connections that I used to get it down there, but as you can see, there's just an air line and a water line dropping down to the footwell jets. This is a picture of the backside of the tub. You can see my air and water lines going around the tub to the jets on this side. And you can also see the ball joint valve there is coming down from my filter skimmer. And then it continues down to both of my filter suction lines. And then that same line is going to continue on. The next thing it'll tie into is the filter pump itself. This picture shows the rest of the filter line. There on the bottom right is my two lines for the filter return. So the previous picture showed the filter suction, which is going to go to the filter pump itself into the filter and continue on and go to that filter return lines. All the lines above are for the jets themselves. And they're on the bottom left side of the screen. You're gonna see where my power comes in. And then you're also gonna see the 
actual jet suction lines. It's two and a half inch pipe, so it's bigger than the rest because it's a high horsepower jet pump. But that that's going to be where the suction for the jet pump comes. Now we're going to go over all the components after I hooked them up to all these lines. Um, some of this, these components I have just temporarily put up before I put the uh, wall on the surround here. So I'm going to disassemble some of this and reassemble it. But I wanted to give you a good idea of what we've got. Um, the main control unit here, um, the, our power comes from, from right there up. And you can see the wires going around to there. Now that's one thing I'm going to change is I'm going to have that kind of official with, you know, flexible conduit that goes over, over to there. But I've got it hooked up now just because I was doing a water test and a, just a component test. So that's our main component, component or the heater element, etc. All the wires that are stubbing out of there, I'm not going to get into detail of those, but those are heading to the various units. Um, I wanted to say also everything in here is bonded with a copper uh, wire. So you can see there's a negative terminal block here and I've got a bunch of the grounds going to that. So anyway, you've got your filter pump over there. Um, it's coming from around the corner from the filter section. It's coming to our filter pump. I'm sorry, <laughs> filter pump is going to our filter, which is coming to the heater dash control unit. It's coming here to the ozonator. Now this is something I didn't have hooked up until now, but this is the o ozone unit up here. Um, and then it's got a section of hose, which we ran as high as we could, just sort of for an airlock coming down. And this is the injector here. So it's injecting ozone into the unit. Continues on. Now I was going to have a um, kind of a garden spigot over here, um, just a hose spigot, but it wasn't really working that well. So I'm just going to eventually cap that off. Anyway, it carries on around and goes to the filter return. Then our suction line for our jets is just right here. Suction line comes in to the jet pump. Jet pump goes up to the triple Y, up to the double Y, and those are what feed our jets around the tub. So as you follow those two lines, they go around to all the jets. They're all tied together. The last component is gonna be the blower. And the blower is gonna be mounted just right here on the inside. Now, it's a little tricky. Blower has to have a line that sticks above the, an air line that sticks above the water level. So what I've done here is I have uh, come down with the airline. There's our check valve right in the middle. And then it's just stubbing out. It's going to stub out through the wall, comes up, and it basically just has an air trap up here. Goes back down, back down, and into the blower. Now, obviously, um, I don't have that glued up yet or all of it because I'm going to put my surround on here and then stub those two pipes through the wall. I'll just paint that pipe the same as everything else. But those are all the components. Um, ready to go. So I think once I put the surround on, I'll kind of show you maybe what I did to fix that up a little bit. I know it, it looks really messy. I'm just going to do some, some wire management, cord management, and it should look pretty good once I'm all said and done. So yeah, that's the components of the tub. Okay guys, that concludes part seven. Again, sorry about the confusion with missing some parts there. Um, stay tuned for part eight. I've got most of it filmed already. Just need to edit it a little bit. Uh, part eight, we're gonna talk about uh, the surround of the tub. We're gonna get to actually filling the tub with water, finishing up the PVC, looking over the components, and finishing up the electrical. I know that's kind of a lot to stick in one part, uh, but I've kind of gone over a lot of the stuff Leading up to this point, so now it's just time to wrap up a lot of loose ends. So stay tuned. Hope to get that last one up to, uh, uploaded soon and edited. So thanks for bearing with me. All right.